Hello, my name is Asa and today I am here because I will show you how to rig a character again in Roblox Studio, okay? For this tutorial we will be using RigEdit, uh, Rig that it's a plugin that helps you to make rigs for your characters in Roblox Studio, okay? So, let's start with the tutorial. Well, as you know, uh, I have a little game or place, okay, where I publish some skins, okay? I made this skin in Blender, okay, that it's kind of an ogre or a toad or a frog or I don't know, but it's a, a space thing, okay? I think that it's an ogre. Well, I have this model, I imported this model. Please check my video on how to import models from Blender, okay, to Roblox Studio, okay? I will share the link with you or I will leave like a card here in the video too for you to watch that. Well, after you imported your model, you group your model, you name your model, you add a humanoid and you add a humanoid root part and then you make the main part or the primary part of your model the humanoid root part. So the humanoid root part is invisible. Okay, well, now we're ready to rig. Uh, in order to rig, we are going to use a very useful plugin. In the past, I used to use a character creator, but now it's outdated. So I recommend you use RigEdit. There is a very free version that is RigEdit Lite or a RigEdit version that's a pro version. So any of these ones, uh, it will work for following this tutorial. So let's start rigging the character, guys. So I'm going to select Tony Ogre. Okay, Tony the Ogre, and then I'm going to select Rig Edit, and then I am able to start. Here, when you have Rig Edit, I just, uh, the only thing that I modify here is step. I uh, I write here point zero 0.01, just to move this, the things, or the controls, or the handles, uh, nicely. Okay, so, and that's the only thing that I modify. Now, we are ready to rig. Also, don't forget to name your character parts this is the a very important step guys okay if not it's very difficult to start connecting them okay well now i'm going to start first with the humanoid root part i'm going to select humanoid root part here in the explorer and then i'm going to select the lower torso this is the way i do it some people do it with the upper torso but i prefer the lower torso okay so i select here okay again First, I select human and root part. Then I press control and hold control and then I press lower torso. Now, you see human and root part is zero and this is one, okay? And then I'm going to create here a joint, not a weld. Weld, it's not movable. Joint, it's movable, okay? Or animatable. So I'm going to create joint. So I don't need to position this one. This is not very important, okay? Now, after this, I have lower torso. The lower torso is connected to the upper legs, okay? So I can start with that. Let's start in order. So lower torso, I have lower torso, and then I can go here and pressing control. So this is here, don't, uh, sorry. Pressing here, shift and control. No, pressing here, sorry, it's not connecting. Control, no. Thank you. So I need to do it here. Here, control shift. So select here, control shift pressed on hold. And then you select first. The first part is control, it's zero. And the number one is upper leg. We create the joint. Now, this joint, we are going to move it a little bit upwards where it's like the part where it's going to rotate. Okay. Now let's go with the next part. So we select again, lower torso. Control shift and the other leg. Create joint and we move it more or less. Here. Ah, if you see that something is weird here, don't pay attention to that. Let me check. So everything is okay. Yes. Okay, so we have that. Now this guy, it was selected in the previous one. So I'm going to remove these things and nothing happens, okay? So it was a mistake. So let's let's be careful with that. We can make it here, lower torso, and then I look for the, uh, again, I'm going to repeat the step, lower torso, and then we look for right upper leg. 
right upper leg, right upper leg, right upper leg. Where are you? Here. So that's it. And then we just create a joint. And we the way you prefer, guys, sometimes it's a little buggy. To start doing it in the screen, but sometimes it's better. For example, if I try here, control shift, I press and then I use this one. Control shift, uh, holding control shift. And then I look for the knee, probably the knee is like here. And then I do the same here. This one, this one, I am holding control shift. And then I look for the knee or I, where I think the knee should be. And I guess that's pretty much the thing. Now we do the same with the foot or the feet. So first is this one, control shift, and then this one, create joint. It's pretty, pretty simple where the ankle would be. Let's move it here straight. And then we are going to do that with the opposite leg so we create join because we remember we are going to animate here no weld weld is just for things that you are not going to move here probably is the ankle try to make them like to be the same no okay now let's go to the upper part so the lower torso I'm going to select the lower torso, control shift. I'm looking for it. But sometimes it's difficult some parts because here is the human root part interrupting. But, well, let's do it here. So let's select here first lower torso and lower torso. It's going to be the parent okay, of the upper torso. So I look for upper torso here and press control. Upper torso, upper torso. If you see upper torso. Write it in the comments. Upper torso, upper torso, where are you? Fat torso. Okay, it's here. We create joint. And now this joint is in the middle, but now we are going to move this to the waist. Okay, so it's going to rotate over here. More or less. More or less, a little bit downwards. I guess that's okay. Just a little, uh, a little bit uh, uh, above, over the lower torso now we continue with this okay so the upper torso that i have here where are you upper torso again i lost you upper torso where is the upper torso uh, okay upper torso here and it's going to be connected to these two balls these two balls is just like a decoration okay so i'm going to use go for this and that it's a right lower leg uh, no right is joints these are some fake joints so in this case these joints for example this one this joint this uh, sphere it's not going to move it's just going to be like attached to the uh, upper torso so we create a weld so you don't, we don't need to adjust this because it's not moving, okay? So now we do the same for upper torso and the right joint. Right joint. A right arm joint. It's here and we just create a weld and it's going to be attached, okay? So not moving. Now upper torso, in this case, it's going to be connected to these arms okay so that's it we create a joint and now we adjust the joint because this is going to be movable so probably where the circle is or the sphere is it's a good place to rotate this part so now again we select upper torso here and then pressing ctrl shift i look for the other arm that's very nice create joint and then we adjust to the other sphere and that's it we are almost done now we're not almost done but well we are going a uh, we're going good now the upper torso is going to be connected to the head or to the jaw it depends on your preference i prefer to the head okay so i'm going to connect the upper torso to the head pressing ctrl shift oh check this is part zero no sorry so again upper torso let's do it here to head we create the joint. Now it's very important to move where it's going to rotate the head. 
well the head is going to rotate almost in the neck position we move it we adjust probably this is like the neck for this chubby friend yeah i guess that's okay now the head it's going to be connected to the jaw so the main part see if we move the head we move the jaw okay so now here we have excellent and now the jaw needs to move from here it's going to rotate and open from here that's very nice now uh the head it will be uh well the upper teeth will be connected to the uh, to the head so in this case we select this one then we select the upper teeth and they we are going to weld they are going to be like attached okay we don't need to modify it so it's not important and now for the jaw we do the same with the upper teeth we weld no joint we just weld because we are not going to animate that thing now for the eyes if you want to have animated eyes well you need to move them in this case i'm going to select head and then i'm going to select the left eye that is the black thing i'm going to create here a joint and it's going to rotate from here i guess from the center of the eye it's okay and then we are going to do the same for the other eye we are going to select first the head and then the eye and then we just create a joint we don't need to modify those now these uh, bright eyes okay they are going to be welded okay welded to the black eye so i select first the eye and then the bright and then i'm just going to weld them okay because they are going to move according to the eye so now we go for the other eye sometimes we have this kind of thing we select this one the main eye the right eye and then i select with Control shift or shift just with shift we create the weld here create weld and that's it and now for the ears we select first head and then the ears and if you want to move your ears we create joint if you don't want to move your ears just create well in this case i want to move this thing so let's move it where the part this thing should rotate more or less like here more or less like here we do the same for the opposite ear we select this and we create a joint we move and then we go down a little bit I guess that's that's almost all but now we need to connect the arms okay so i select this arm then i press shift and then i just create a joint and i look for this part where we have an invisible no, we have a joint over there but we are not going to use the joint the joint is just like a decoration okay we do the same for the opposite we look for this one we press shift and then we just create joint really really guys i recommend you get the full version of this plugin to support the creator that this is an awesome tool this is an awesome tool okay so well we have the rigged over there uh, well the the connection and then we are going to do the same for this guy to this guy and then we just create a join so we adjust here probably where the uh, rest uh, would be the rest yes it's the rest right first this one then this one create join oh sorry uh, let me check here yes we have this one create join modify this thing probably here to rotate over here I guess that's uh, the thing that we have most of the parts are connected i am just missing these joints or fake joints so i'm going to connect the fake joint to this arm just weld it so i just weld it so it's not going to affect anything and this this is something that you have to do in order to have a normal rig i guess that we have finished with rig edit and this is the way we rig this thing now we need to test the rig if this is working so we remove this thing then we go to animation and then we select our model check 
if you have this error is because I connected two parts to one by mistake. So motor six right hand. Let's look for right hand. Something in right hand it's like connected with two things. So right hand. So probably is the upper uh, le the left the right upper arm. Ah yes, because I have two arm right hands. Check. So well we delete one. I don't know if this is the correct one, but well we can see this with rig edit if the rig is correct yes the connection it's okay here connection here i guess that's pretty much the thing so and now we go again to animation we select our rig our character everything is okay because now it's giving us this so test we write test and we are ready to animate in Roblox Studio or to export it or whatever you want to. Oh, let's check. Oh, the eyebrows. I forgot the eyebrows. Check. This is important when you make this thing. Well, let's check if another part is like missing. No. Arms is here. Here. Oh, sorry. Here. It's moving this lollipop. Yeah. <laughs> the belt. It's quite funny. Ah, the belt. I need to move the belt also. So we are missing the belt, guys. And we are missing the eyebrows. The eyebrows, I don't know if I'm going to give them just like welded. So I don't want to be like animating the, the eyebrows. But well, let's see. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. Urgh. So we are missing the belt, guys, and the eyebrows. So we just remove this, select the, the rig, open rig edit, and look for the missing parts. So in this case is the head, and then pressing shift, I go for the eyebrow. So if you want to animate the eyebrows, you create joint. If you don't want to animate, just create weld, okay? So this is a difficult situ decision. So I'm going to leave it like weld. So I'm not going to animate eyebrows. That's too much. Then I select head and then I go for the other eyebrow and create weld. That's it. And now let's go for the fatty belt. So for this belt, it's going to be attached probably to... Um, I don't know if to the... I guess to the upper torso. It could be to the lower torso or to the lower torso. It's, your, it's the way you prefer or you think that looks better. So let's go for belt. Select here and let's create just a welt. So it's going to be attached like that. So now we just go to out. We go to animation. I guess that's okay. Well, I here. Okay, now the belt is attached. Uh, here. Yes. And now let's check the head. As I told you, remember the head. Uh, here, the head. This is rotating here. The head. Mm -hmm, this is good. The head. If I move the head, everything moves. Here. Okay. And now if I want to open the jaw. I just use uh, uh, hola. hello my friends okay that's it and then we have the eyes to move the eyes we need to move this eye I, I need to create something to then move the just one eye and move the others I guess well not today but well probably later so well the eye, we have the two eyes they are independent so we need to move the two eyes over there. Okay, and that's it. Okay guys, and I guess that's all for this video. I hope that you like this simple tutorial about rigging a character using Rigedit. Okay, a plugin that helps you to connect all your models and prepare them to be animated. Okay, my name is Sasa, and don't forget to like this video, okay, and stay tuned for more tutorials, okay, when you are making your characters for your games, piggy games, uh, action games, whatever games, ah, the, uh, the ears also, we can move the ears, <laughs> okay, I will see you next time, thank you very much.